did you hear about this gentleman? Now, last week we talked about the fat son. I know where you're going with this. Yes, I heard about him. In the Conca Champions? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ronnie Brunswick. Brunswick. I don't know how to pronounce it. But 60 year old, right? 60 year old vice president of Suriname mm-hmm. made his pro debut in the CONCACAF Champions League. Champions League. Now, last time we talked about the fat son whose dad, Chinese dad, bought, bought a club. <laughs> so he can play. So he can play. This guy did the same thing. He bought a club so he can play. Essentially. Yeah. 60-year-old. Did you see a picture of him? He was pretty heavy as well. (sighs) Yeah. He was super old, super fat. All right. I'm just going on his Wikipedia page, right? Hey. Serenami's politician, businessman, footballer, former... Rebel leader and current president of Suriname. All right. This guy made his professional debut. But there was some interesting stuff in here in his Wikipedia page. I don't know if you saw it. You saw it? All right. Let me try to. I saw some of it. I know that he got, I think he got, um, (laughs) he was in corruption or something like that. Give me a second here. Because football career. All right. He built a stadium in 2002 and named it after himself. Essentially, Brunswick Stadion. All right. He was disciplined, suspended for five years in 2005 for threatening some players with a handgun. There you go. That's what I remember. Something like that. All right. The suspension was retracted due to a lack of evidence. In 2012, he was suspended for one year because he behaved violently towards the referee and a player in a football match. All right. On September 2021, he played for his club, Inter. Oh, man, this is tough to say. Mongo Tapo as a starter at the age of 60 years and 198 days. In the first leg of the round of 16. It was against a team from Honduras. They huh? lost against Club Deportivo Olimpia. He played 60 minutes as a 60-year-old. He had to. 60 for 60, baby. <sighs> Why? He no became idea. the oldest player in the competition in history. I think in any competition, bro. He, was, he wore number 61 as a tribute to the year he was born in. What the hell is going on? He's a professional kickboxer, too. What the? That's insane, dog. 60 years old making your pro debut. Hey, this is a testament, dude. Never give up on your dreams. Never man. give up on your if dreams you, of buying if, a club. <laughs> if you never give up on your dreams of making enough money to, to buy just a club. Pay, pay to make your dreams come true. Now, you might not know this. Do you know what he did after the game? What did he do after the game? He went down to the locker room of Olympia with a stack of money. Started giving their players money. Four? I have no idea. Just four. Just because. Who is this guy? I I, I promise we're going to do more research and we're going to come back next week. Dude. And find out who this guy is. I'm telling you, these people gave money away. And the players are taking it. And I'm like. Who is this man? Is he trying to set him up? Saying, hey, they took a bribe. You never For know. For what? <laughs> At... <laughs> Only in CONCACAF, dog. <laughs> yeah. Is CONCACAF the most underdeveloped region in the world? Which is fucking crazy to say. Because there are more poor regions out there. I don't think so. Is CONCACAF the most... I think they're the most corrupted. What is going on? Dude? Corruption. Corruption? On. You, you yep. think that's that's it? I think so. Because I think, like, Africa, they, I'm not going to say they care, but they take more pride 
but their football teams, like they actually like, no, I want to be the best. And they actually, because that's where a lot of their money comes from exporting players to Europe. Um, they send that. money back. I can see that. But CONCACAF, it's like what? Like Mexico and like the US and like that's it. That's all the players that really go. Like Canada. One, eh, Canada started now. Uh, Jamaica, Costa some of them. Costa Rica has potential. Yeah. Yeah. But then you have like, That's insane, dude. You, oh my God. You, a lot of these shit, a lot of the shit that you see, you will not hear about in other countries. Nope. And, that's why I get so mad at the Mexican national team because these guys are playing freaking vice presidents, teachers, fishermen. They should be able to qualify every single um, qualifier to every single World Cup with, with ease. If Mexico would have been eliminated from that World Cup, what was it, 14? 20, 20, no, 2018. Russia. 18? That would have been the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to Mexico, period, as a country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As a country. But the thing is, like, I agree with your point. They're playing against this and that. But the same time, this, this, and that are the same people that are going to break you if mm. you play all out. Remember what happened to Cuauhtémoc? I wouldn't want to play in Coca-Cola. I I think on Gakav is the toughest, not because of the skill, just because it's dangerous. They don't care. They got nothing to lose. No. What are you going to do to me? They're, they're teachers, like, half of the day. Well, they're going to go back and teach. That's it. I can break your ankle. What are you going to do to me? Yeah. Who's losing Spend more? Spend me for a year? Cool. Who's I'll lo- get a one-year vacation. Uh, who's losing more? The person that's, that has a team that's making a living out of it or someone that's playing, you can say, for fun. Who lost more? Cuauhtémoc Blanco or the... Do we even yeah. know his name? No, I don't. Pretty sure the guy didn't care. No. Well, Demo lost everything because he probably would have been a beast in he Europe. He was tearing it up in, in Real, Valladolid. Valladolid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but that was a very interesting story, man. That's hilarious. 60-year-old making his debut. That was a random ass, <laughs> random ass thing I saw. On, I don't know if it was Facebook or Instagram. But I think I, I saw it on saw Facebook. It and I was, I was on ESPN dying, Deportes. Bro. Yeah. I think that's where I saw it. Um. Football Picante, one of those pages. I think it's Football Picante. That was funny. Man. 